In this video, we're going to talk about what a trivial linear combination is. So a linear combination of vectors is trivial if all of its coefficients are zero. So let's look at an example of a trivial linear combination. Say we have zero times the vector one, two, plus zero times the vector three, four. Okay, this is a trivial linear combination of these vectors. If you set this equal to something, you end up with this vector here. So we say this is a trivial linear combination. And the way we'd say it is of, of these vectors, so of 1, 2, comma, 3, 4. So, um, so when people say, oh, well, we have a trivial linear combination of, you know, three vectors, then that's what it means. You have 0 times each of these vectors. So um, if you multiply this out, you do get uh, 0, 0, right? You just take the 0 and you multiply it by each of the entries, and then you have 0, 0 here and then you have 0, 0 here, and then when you add them, um, you, get, you get 0, 0. So it works out uh, really nicely. So trivial means all of these coefficients are 0. Non-trivial is the opposite of that. It means that at least one of them is not 0. So trivial means all 0. Non-trivial means at least one not 0. Let me write that down. So trivial, a trivial linear combination, would mean that they're all 0. Okay, they're all zero. And a non-trivial, a non-trivial linear combination of some vectors would mean not all zero. So that would mean that at least one is non-zero. Right, the opposite of all zero is not all zero, which means at least one is not zero. Let's do an actual problem. Um, I have one here. I haven't done it yet, um, but it should be kind of interesting. Um, let's, let's check it out. So the question is to find a non-trivial, so we need to find a non-trivial linear combination. That means um, we have to have at least one coefficient that's not all zero, that's not zero. So a non-trivial linear combination of, and we have three vectors here. We have one, negative three, um, we have two, four, and then we have um, 0, negative 5. So we do a non-trivial linear combination of these vectors, uh, which equals 0. And we have a little arrow above it. So this, this here, this is the 0 vector. Okay. So we need to find a non-trivial linear combination of these vectors, which is equal to 0. So solution. Let's try to do it. Let's see if we can do this. I think we can. <laughs> so we need... We need three scalars. We need alpha, beta, gamma. These are our coefficients. Such that, so st means such that, alpha times our first vector. So alpha times 1, negative 3, plus beta times um, 2, 4, plus gamma times 0, negative 5, and this needs to somehow magically equal the zero vector. Now we could just make them all zero and it would work, but then that would be a trivial linear combination, right? The goal is to find a non-trivial uh, one. So they can't all be zero. So at least one of them has to be not zero. Um, let's go ahead and multiply through the, the scalars. So this would give us alpha minus three alpha. And you can try to like mentally do this. Um, I'm not going to try to do that now, because what if I can't do it? Then the video just becomes me staring at the screen. <laughs> Plus, and then gamma times 0 is 0. I, it's not obvious to me right away, so I, I don't see an easy way to do it. So I'm just going to write it all out and see what happens. Sometimes you can just look at this and like just figure it out, but um, I'm not really seeing it right now. All right, so what else? Now we can combine these into one vector here. This is going to be alpha plus 2 beta, and that's the first entry. The next entry is minus 3 alpha, I should have made it a little bit bigger, plus 4 beta minus 5 gamma, and that's equal to the vector 0, 0. Okay, just combining all these vectors so far, so good. Let me just uh, check my work, make sure I didn't mess up. So we did alpha times 1, so we got alpha. Okay, then alpha times negative 3, it's negative 3 alpha. 2 beta, 4 beta, check. 
0, negative 5, gamma. Then we added the first ones, so alpha plus 2 beta, that's the first row. Negative 3 alpha checks, plus 4 beta checks, negative 5 gamma checks, and that's equal to 0, 0. So far, so good. So it's really easy to mess up in these problems. You know, you do one, one little mistake, and the whole thing is wrong. You really have to focus. All right, two vectors are equal when their components are the same. So this means that alpha plus 2 beta equals 0. Notice how far I put the equal sign. I'm going to leave some room for the gamma below. Then minus 3 alpha plus 4 beta minus 5 gamma equals 0. So I think we need to do some math now. So what I'm thinking is um, let's eliminate one of the variables. I'm going to multiply this first equation by 3 and then add it to the second. So if we multiply the first equation by 3, use a different color here, we'll end up with 3 alpha, right, because 3 times alpha is 3 alpha. 3 times 2 is 6, so we get 6 beta, and then we have equals 0. Now when we add these, uh, we should get some stuff. Let's see, these go away, so add. So add, we get 10 beta minus 5 gamma, equals 0. So we have these two these two equations here. Uh, was this step really necessary? I'm not sure. Now we just need to pick some values. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and maybe solve um, solve this for alpha. So alpha is negative 2 beta. Okay. And uh, I'll set beta equal to 1. So beta is 1. I just picked a number. I didn't want to pick 0 because I don't want everything to be 0. So I picked beta equal to 1. So again, solve this one for alpha. Pick beta equal to 1. Okay. Um, if beta is 1, then alpha is 2 times negative 1. So alpha is negative 2. So now we have alpha equal negative 2. Okay. And beta is 1. So we can plug it in here to find gamma. So now we have 10 times 1 minus 5 gamma. So that ended up working out okay. So negative 5 gamma equals negative 10. Dividing by negative 5 gives us gamma equals 2. So now we have alpha, beta, and gamma. Yay, it worked. I'm so happy that that worked. Um, so what do we have? We have alpha negative 2. So alpha is negative 2. Uh, beta is 1. And gamma is 2. So these are our coefficients. So rewriting what we have, recall we had alpha. So alpha 1, negative 3. That was our initial problem. I'm writing it again. Plus beta, 2, 4. That's what we started with. And the last one was gamma, 0, negative 5. And this should be equal to 0, 0, right, with these constants. Let's go ahead and check, right, because if we're wrong, then we'll know. Um, so alpha was negative 2. So this becomes negative 2. So 1, negative 3, uh, plus 1 times 2, 4, plus gamma was 2. And this should be a non-trivial linear combination of these vectors, which is equal to the 0 vector. Let's, let's check. Let's finish this. Um, so negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And then here this gives us 6, Okay, plus this is 2, 4. And then plus the last one is 0, negative 10. And this should be equal to 0, 0. Okay. And it is, yay, right? Negative 2 plus 2 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 4 is 10. And you add negative 10 and you get 0. So it is indeed correct. So we have found a non-trivial linear combination of these three vectors, which is equal to the 0 vector. So trivial means they're all 0. Non-trivial means at least 1 is not 0. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. That's it.